I'm Corey Duke. Good morning. I'm Justin Fish. I want to get a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. In the day ahead, the city of Tulsa is opening its mulch site today for tree limb drop off after Wednesday night storms. Residents can also bundle limbs and branches to be picked up on their regular trash day. However, there are some requirements that you're going to need to follow. We'll be sure to get those up on our website, kgrh.com. The deadline to opt in and enroll for the enhanced child tax credit is Monday. If you haven't opted in before now, you're going to be getting a big boost. Here's why the site getctc.org that is only going to be up through November 15th. It was developed by Code for America and the Treasury Department for families that have children who are eligible for this credit, but don't automatically get the payment because they generally don't make enough to file a tax return. A part of the American Rescue Plan that was passed in March increased that tax credit from $2,000 per child to $3,600 per child for those under six and $3,000 for those between the age of six and 16. And the Oklahoma State Department of Health says appointments are open for kids ages five and up to get their COVID-19 vaccine. You can schedule one on OSDH's vaccine portal right now. The department says it has ample supply to vaccinate families interested in getting the shots for their kids. Interim Commissioner Keith Reed says they anticipate more than 130,000 new doses of the kids size Pfizer vaccines to be in the state by tomorrow. All right, Annie Brown has your forecast. Annie, what's going on this Friday? If you'd like showers early this morning, grab the coats, grab the sunglasses. That's what you need to have for today. Temperatures are going to stay in those 40s and 50s. Keep in mind, northwest winds will be with us, so it's going to keep that added chill around for today. This evening, if you have plans to get out and about, make sure that you keep that coat with you, maybe a scarf, even some gloves, because those winds will remain up until about 8 p.m. Then we'll stay calm, we'll stay clear, allowing for that freeze watch to go into effect. We're looking at temperatures dropping right at or slightly below freezing starting around 3 a.m. in most locations up until the sun comes up.